Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas, and today I'm going to be doing a video on digitally coloring human skin. The first entry in a series on digital coloring and various other digital lessons. Once you separate your clean line art from the white of the paper, you can go ahead and use your select tool and select all the skin that you're going to be coloring. And for those who haven't seen it or don't know why they need to do it, I've done a video on how to separate your lines from the white of the scan to page. It's a useful technique for when you want to color your lines from black to another color like brown, which works great for skin tones, which I actually end up doing much later in the coloring process. The video will be linked in the cards. The key to coloring skin to look natural but still vivid and vibrant in a stylized way that I personally like is to mine the planes of the face. I've done several videos on this as well, and I'll link a few in the cards as well. Before we get started, I'd like to say that this is all based on my personal style of coloring and on my personal experience and techniques that I use. There's no right or wrong way to color as long as you get the results that you want. <laughs> Basically you want to put your highlights on the planes closest to the light source and have the colors gradually get darker on the opposite side of those planes. In the case of this cover, the light source is coming from the top left of the screen where the sun and a volcano will be. With that in mind, I always start working from dark to light, base color to highlight. I use the pen tool to basically draw on all the planes I want colored once the base color is down, cheeks, nose, forehead, etc. In this stage, I'll blend the mid-tones on top of the dark tones to get a nice gradient going. After that, I'll put the actual skin color on top of those, and I'll put it on hard and relatively unblended, except on the edges close to the shadow side of the face, so they'll gradate smoother. After that, I'll add the brightest highlight, and I'll blend that with our actual skin color by blurring, but I'll keep the two of those basically separate from the mid-tones that we just completed as well. When coloring other elements like the arms, hands, and such, it's easier for me to color thinking of top and bottom, face, and underside. When I do it that way, I only need a base color, skin color, and mid-tone color. The process of coloring everything is similar to doing the face, but a bit simpler since I can use the skin color as the highlight, base color as the shadow, and the mid-tone as the neutral color between. The neutral color is between light and dark, and it gives the hands a more three-dimensional look and feel. In the event there's a light source with its own specific color, I'll always separate that color from the skin by placing a slim outline of the base color between them. It makes the light source look harder and brighter than if they were all sitting blended together. The neutral color is can be placed on top of the shadowy base color for sections that you want just slightly darker, but not quite as dark as the shadow color. That about wraps it up. Make sure you leave your comments, your suggestions, and any questions that you have in the comment section below this video. 
thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff i have plenty more content like this more in-depth tutorials more in-depth lessons speed drawings and such like that on my channel so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications of when i upload also make sure to follow me on social media facebook twitter instagram deviantart all that good stuff I'm just about everywhere you want to see me. Thank you for watching.